In today's episode, we're gonna be checking out guitar straps. And I'd like to thank the guys at Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. It's great when I get to share something like this, something I've been using for over two decades and I absolutely love. Today, we're gonna be talking about guitar straps and there's something really easy when it comes to guitar straps for me, which is I've only used two guitar straps my entire life. The DiMarzio clip lock system straps that you see, if you see them hanging off guitars, that's what they are. And if you don't see one of those hanging on the back of a guitar, it's because I'm using Dunlop dual design locking strap locks and Levy's straps. Those are the straps uh, that I've been using forever. I have used from time to time a Daddario one that I like, but that is, although I like it, it has a special purpose. The majority of my guitars will always have either of those two straps. And so I'm gonna show you three straps today and why you would use them and why I particularly use them. The first is, of course, this three inch leather strap that's padded. And if, as you can imagine with this SG, you probably know the answer. The reason I'm using it is because this SG is very top heavy. Uh, it has Grover locking keys and it wants to nose dive immediately as it does. And this strap disperses the weight over my shoulder, holds the guitar because it doesn't slide. And it's fantastic for that. And because of the way, the width and the padding, you don't feel like the weight of the guitar uh, on your shoulder, it feels like a light pressure instead of like, you know, just like a boulder hanging off your shoulder <laughs> for a while. Now, this strap, that's what I love it for. You'll see me use it on my bass guitars as well. There's some advantages to that. There's some serious disadvantages. We'll go over those too. Um, one of the, besides the advantage of being a wider strap, one of the cool things is uh, you can kind of set this strap and forget it. In other words, you kind of set it, and I'll show you that in a minute. And I like to set the strap. Uh, there's a certain way you can set a guitar strap. Majority of people will tell you who set it with you put the strap exactly in your sitting playing position. And then when you stand up, it's in that same position and when you sit down. And I do use that a lot on straps, but uh, a lot of times I'm using the way I'm doing it now, which is it's kind of uh, taut right here. In other words, it's not, it's not holding the way the guitar, the weight is actually sitting on my, my leg. Watch what happens when I drop my leg. It falls just a little bit, let's say about an inch to a half inch. And the reason I do that is because when I'm sitting, I kind of have my arm against the guitar, it's against my leg, it's holding the weight. I don't want the strap to be kind of loose and you know, feel like it's gonna fall off my shoulder here because it's so loose. I want it just to be tight enough to where it's, it feels like it's there, but it's not holding the weight of the guitar because I'm holding the weight of the guitar. And the reason I like it like that is because this reason, when I stand, then it puts the guitar at just a little bit lower. And this is where I like it. Some people like their guitar down to their knees, uh, around their hips, that's fantastic. If you can do that, there's definitely a rock star vibe to that. Me, personally, if you see me playing my bass and guitar, this is about where I have it. Maybe just a little bit lower. So I, like I said, I like it where, where the strap is, you can see it got loose. And then if I, you know, if I was to kind of do that, it gets tight and the same thing. And, uh, and that's how I like it. But like I said, a great method for you guys is if you want to, especially if you're starting out, set your strat, uh, your strap so that it's holding the guitar in the sitting position and, and when you're standing, it's in the same position. It's really good for consistency. One of the drawbacks of the strap is that uh, when you make adjustments <laughs> to the length, it's kind of cumbersome. You know, you have to kind of run this uh, through these holes and then through this, this back end loop and you do get two spots, right? So you can have it like I had it right here. Now, here's where you're gonna see the shortcomings of this. I'm six foot, I'm a big guy, and this, as you can see, I'm maxed out. If you looked where I had the strap right there, that's as far as it can go. So there's no way to get this with currently any longer, unless, of course, uh, you know about what I'm about to tell you, which is Levy's makes extenders. They make extenders for these where you can make this a little longer. So if you do need an extender because you're either taller or thicker or both than, than me, then you will need the extender and it's available. The downfall, of course, this is sometimes this fits perfectly for the SG, but on my acoustic, maybe not so much, or on a different shape guitar like this ES335, ES335, uh, not so much. And so you're kind of making all these adjustments. This next Levy strap is a two inch wide cotton strap. This is also holding the way of the guitar. And it's because even though it's not uh, the three inch and it's not padded, it's cotton and it's grabbing my shirt. If it was nylon, it would be slippery and it would slide. And, uh, and that's why this is nice. The downfall that you can't see, but I can tell you, is that I really feel the weight of this guitar pulling on my shoulder right now. It's not, not bad, but it's not like it was a minute ago where it felt like a light pressure on my shoulder. This feels like something's actually on my shoulder, weighing the shoulder down a little bit. So this is not as comfortable. 
But what this is, is very easy to adjust because of this buckle system. I mean, we can make it shorter or longer, right? And if you wanna do that rock star stuff, you can kind of sling it down a little lower. And this is 72 inches. So when you're buying straps, you wanna think about how tall or short you are and how long the strap needs to be. Most straps are gonna be 72 inches, that's what this is. So to give you a concept, this is maxed out on me, six foot tall. You can see this goes down to my hips. There's no way it's slinging down to my knees uh, with this because again, my height and my thickness, this is where it's gonna be. But again, no nose dive and this is pretty comfortable. I personally would like it right about there, but you can see um, it's a little bit more convenient on how fast it is. This is why I like videos like this, and hopefully you guys can, hopefully somebody will get something out of it. But let me show you a totally different kind of strap, one I think gets overlooked all the time. This is a strap that I always think get overlooked, and I lo absolutely love these straps. It is a buckle style strap, in other words, it's a, quite a quick adjustment like the other strap, but a little bit more cumbersome uh, than the other strap that we were sliding. This is basically a replica of what straps look like when they first came out. When they first came out, they were like shoe strings, and then rope and then a piece of leather with a little pad on there. And some of the pads were really like paper thin with a just a piece of cotton on the bottom. This is leather with suede on the bottom. And then of course it's got some nice padding. Sometimes you don't want the strap to be the uniform. So like today I'm using, I'm wearing a Brian S. Guitars shirt from the Brian S. Ch channel. I thought I'd wear a shirt, he sent it to me. We did a shirt swap and uh, you know, his shirt's this, this already getting covered up by the guitar and then the strap, even though this is tiny and out of the way, it's very strong, but also very padded. This feels just as padded as that uh, three inch strap uh, did to me because the positioning of this. And you can slide this to where it just feels perfect. Those are the levy straps I use. That's why I use them. Uh, I will put links down below, of course, uh, as you know, because this is uh, sponsored by Sweetwater. There's links down below that if you buy any of this stuff, uh, they'll kick back something to the channel for me showing it to you. And I, I love doing this stuff. I hope you guys like this stuff too. As always, I want to thank you so much for your time. Till the next time. Know your gear.